There's problem 317. Each of two vectors, d1 and d2, lie along a coordinate axis in the xy plane. Each vector has its tail at the origin, and the dot product of the two vectors, d dot d2, is zero. Which possibility is correct? If we had uh, the dot product between two vectors, by definition, that is equal to the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times the cosine of the angle between them. And in this case, if that were equal to zero, we could divide both sides by the magnitude of d1 and d2 and get rid of that. And we would, we would conclude then that the cosine of the angle between these two vectors is equal to zero. For that to happen, theta would have to be equal to 90 degrees. So there would have to be a 90 degree angle between these two vectors. In other words, no matter how they are graphed in the xy plane, if we had these two vectors, say d1 like this, then d2 would have to be perpendicular to it in order for the dot product between the two vectors to be zero. So we're looking for that situation. So as we look at down our possibilities, we have d1, d2 both lie along the positive x-axis. That's not going to work because they're going to be parallel then. They're not going to be perpendicular. Not going to work. B, d1 lies along the positive x-axis. d2 lies along the negative x-axis. Well, that, that would give them 180 degrees uh, between the two vectors, not 90 degrees. So that would, wouldn't work either. C, d1 and d2 both lie along the positive y-axis. They would be parallel with an angle of 0 degrees between them. Not working. D, d1 lies along the negative x-axis, d2 lies along the negative y-axis. So in D, we're looking at this. D1 is going this way, and D2 is going this way, along the negative y-axis. So they are perpendicular. That's going to work. That's a, that's a possibility. E, D1 lies along the positive x-axis, D2 lies along the negative x-axis. 180 degrees between the two vectors, not going to work. So our only answer is answer D.